But the trouble is that the methane is also involved with a, what they call a positive feedback loop. So I have a microphone, and should I then walk to a loud speaker with this microphone and start speaking loudly, the sound goes from my mouth into the microphone, into the amplifier, into the loudspeaker, and back again, and then it just gets louder and louder until you get this microphone whistle, this, this feedback loop, and I'm not talking anymore. I'm not putting any more energy into the system, and yet it gets louder by itself. And the situation here is that we're getting methane bubbling out of the ground, separately from the cows, in the permafrost. And if you take the distance from Russia, from Moscow, sorry, to the end of Siberia, that is bigger than the distance from Moscow to the equator and down to the Cape. It's a huge distance. And the methane, because it's warmed up, is bubbling out of the ground. So and it's, it's, it's cows and sheep and the ground and the belching ground. methane. Belching, and it looks like this could be the positive feedback loop. Now, the IPCC has never, have always said we're being conservative. We do not include positive feedback loops in our projections. When they do, it'll get nastier. How nasty? Well, they're talking one metre ocean level rise by the end of this century without the positive feedback loops. With the positive feedback loops, a lot more. They were saying that the ice in the Arctic should be good till 2200. Now they're saying 2050. Okay, so how do we overcome the problem of too much methane in the atmosphere? Methane was specifically getting back to the cattle. There's a whole bunch of things. Like on one hand, you can eat less meat. And I live a basically vegetarian diet because I have a vegetarian daughter and I used to be a vegetarian myself. But every now and then I have a meat hunger. Do you ever get a meat hunger? Yeah, yeah. I do. I, I like a bit of meat every now and then. The other thing is... But, so you're saying eat less meat, therefore there'll and, be less, less cattle. And genetically engineer the cattle and the creatures that live in them to give off less of this methane gas. We can do it. We haven't started. And do humans play a problem here? I mean, other than obviously eating the meat and therefore wanting more cattle, but uh, what about what we tend to belch? Obviously, we're uh, pushing a lot of carbon ah, dioxide into the atmosphere. But, well, the average person farts between... Um, sorry to use that rude word. There is no, by the way, polite verb for F-A-R-T. <laughs> it does not exist, right? Whereas other things like micturate for urination does exist. So we uh, fart you know, 12 to 14 times a day, men more bottom often, uh, bottom burp, uh, women less frequently, possibly related to the greater amount of food that we take in.